name is Sister Therese Maria and I'm so grateful for the awesome work that Ignite the Mariner is doing to evangelize and to share the beautiful treasures of our Catholic faith. The Catholic Church teaches us that there are four movements of prayer, four different ways that we can pray and talk to God. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving and supplication. Out of those four movements, I personally love to offer prayers of thanksgiving giving thanks to God our Father for his blessings, his gifts, his graces, and for his presence in my life. The Holy Word of God is constantly exhorting us to give thanks. And I'd like to share some Psalms with you. Psalm 9, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, and I will tell of your wondrous deeds. Psalm 118, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. St. Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians says, Rejoice always, pray constantly, and in all circumstances give thanks, because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And one beautiful practice that we have as sisters is called an examination of conscience. Each evening, the sister before she sleeps, she'll take time to examine her day, first calling upon the Holy Spirit so that he could shed his light, and we recall, where has God been present? Where have I been blessed with his love, with his mercy, with his goodness throughout my day? And I give thanks and I show my appreciation and my love by acknowledging those gifts. And the next step would be then to acknowledge where have I fallen short? Where do I need to ask God for forgiveness and for the grace to try again and to seek his will even more the next day? This is such a beautiful practice and I've seen myself grow through doing an examination of, of conscience daily and also stopping to not only ponder on the blessings but on God who is the giver of all good gifts, the one who is merciful. And as our Maronite church fittingly says, God is the lover of all people, the merciful one, the one who forgives and nourishes us with the very gift of himself in the Eucharist. What a precious gift. Thank you, Jesus. Did you actually know that the word Eucharist in Greek means thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. So when I'm going to receive the Eucharist, am I giving thanks? A grateful heart is a happy and humble heart. And it's a beautiful, beautiful gift to be able to give thanks, even for the little things. And to be attuned to how God is present in every single moment, in every single event in my life, in every single person I encounter. I want to share a few tips to conclude on how we can practice this growth, this gratitude, and this appreciative living. First, I would recommend starting a gratitude journal where you can jot down the things that you're grateful for, the, the gifts of the day, or maybe writing a letter to someone you're grateful for, someone who's helped you along the way. Another tip is to train yourself, especially in those difficult moments, those trying moments, when things seem overwhelming or you're feeling anxiety or struggles are just piling up. Just, Lord, give me one thing that I can be grateful for. And trying to um, convert um, one negative experience into a positive experience of growth, of gratitude. This is a great way to grow in gratitude. And my final tip is please ensure that you attend liturgy on Sundays because this is where we can receive Jesus who is the giver of all good gifts and we can be nourished to go out and share his love and his mercy. And in the word thanksgiving is giving. So when we are giving of ourselves in love, we're also growing in gratitude and growing in his awesome image and likeness. So I'd like to finish with this prayer taken from the Maronite liturgy that will really help us to think about how are we giving thanks? How are we praising God who is the giver of all good gifts? Gracious God and Father, how can we repay you for the goodness and the salvation you have given us? Who can give you the glory that you truly deserve? In our weakness and insofar as we are able, we worship, praise, and thank you, your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
God bless you.